Hey guys, Steve here. Today I'm going to show you how to make an anti-theft device for your HDTV. What we're going to be using are the wall mount screws that are on the back of your TV. What we'll be doing is buying a piece of wire rope and we'll be stringing it between those two bolts. And we're going to be stringing it through the two bolts using some eye bolts. I wasn't able to find eye bolts in the size that I needed at the home improvement store, so I made my own. At the end of the video, I'll show you how I made those. So the items we'll need for this project are one, We'll need a screwdriver. We'll need a piece of wire rope. We'll need a ferrule and stop set. We'll need an eyelet bolt. This is a screw, so this won't work. We need a bolt. I actually made one myself. Then we'll need a bolt cutter. So we're gonna go ahead and find out which side of the TV we're gonna put our anti-theft device on. I'm gonna put it away from all my components. So I'm gonna put it on this side. My TV actually has two screws already in here. Next, we're gonna take our screw holes and we're gonna insert our eye bolts that we made. With our eye bolts installed, we wanna make sure that the holes are sticking straight up and down. Next, we're gonna take our wire rope. You can buy this by the foot so you can get any length that you want. I just went with six feet. We're gonna take this and we're gonna run this in between the two eye screws here. With our wire rope installed, we're gonna take our ferrule and stop set and we're gonna install the stops, which are the small pieces on opposite sides of these eye bolts. Now, the way that the security system works is we're gonna keep this ro rope nice and tight with the stops. Well, a thief isn't gonna be able to turn these screws because this rope is tight in between. Once we have our stops installed, we're gonna take the, the opposite end of the rope and we're gonna use the ferrules to make a loop. And then we can use this loop to wrap around our furniture with a padlock. Let's go ahead and let's install the stops. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit of slack and we're gonna stick on this stop on the top of this thing. This is just a piece of aluminum, so it should be able to be crushed really easily. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our bolt cutters and we're just gonna crush this. So you can see it's just nice and crushed right there on the, on the wire rope. We're gonna make a second indent too. Just make sure it's good and, good and secure on there. With that on there, let's bring that all the way down to the bottom. With our rope nice and tight, we're gonna take our second stop and run it from the other end. Run it all the way up to where the TV is. And we're gonna take our bolt cutter again. I'm gonna crush this right there. Now we have our anti-theft device attached to the TV. Now a thief won't be able to undo these screws because there's not enough uh, space in here for the rope to completely spin around. That's the nice part about using this wire rope. We'll go to the opposite end of the cord here and we're gonna take the ferrule and we're gonna loop it into itself. So this is what the end of our cable looks like. We're just gonna put a couple crimps on this wire and then we can grab a padlock and attach it to a solid object. So right there, there is our anti-theft device, wire rope, run to a eye bolt that is hooked to the TV, two of them, with stops on the opposite sides of the cable. So this cable is good and tight. So we need to figure out which size bolt we need for our TV. I actually know that my TV is a six millimeter. Uh, so this bolt is about two inches long. Um, I believe it's uh, actually uh, 50 millimeters, if that makes a difference to you. Um, so I went ahead and I measured out how much actually can go inside of the TV screw hole. So I have about half inch, three quarters of an inch that I need to make sure that I don't wreck the threads. So we're gonna take two pieces of wood and we're gonna take our bolt and crush it in between these. We're gonna be using a vise. So the wood is protecting the threads from getting crushed by the metal vise. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw that in there. And we're gonna take our hammer. So when we undo it, our bolt is starting to take shape. Now I'm gonna take a wide screw that I have and I'm gonna put that in here too. So by putting this in here, this will help keep a shape of the wire rope. So this is the type of shape that we're trying to make so that we can fit our wire rope through there. And we're just gonna do something like that. I hope you guys liked this video. If you thought it was a good idea and thought it was very helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer them for you. Thanks for watching, have a good night.